In this video, I will walk you through the steps of linking Google Analytics 4 to Google Search Console. By linking the two, you will be able to see Google Search Console reports in Google Analytics 4. At the end, I will also show you how to create a navigation menu in Google Analytics 4 that will allow you to quickly jump to these reports. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Go to your Google Analytics 4 account and click on Admin. In the Admin panel, select the property that you want to connect Google Search Console to and scroll down and click on Search Console Linking. Next, click on Link. That'll open up the wizard that you will use to connect to Google Search Console. Click on Choose Accounts and this will list all the accounts that you have access to. If you have a lot of accounts like I do, then you can use the search functionality to find the right account. Once you find the right account, click on the checkbox. Currently, you can only select, connect to one Search Console property. This might change in future. For now, the limitation is one. Once you do that, go ahead and click on Confirm. Click on Next. This is where you select the web stream which you want to connect Google Search Console to. So click on Select and pick your data stream and click on Next. Now your connection is ready. Make sure to review your settings. You have and the Search everything Console property information and you have the web stream information. Once you're satisfied, click on Submit. Now your link is created. Click X here to get out. Go back to your reports and under Acquisition, Click on Acquisition Overview. This is where you'll start to see all your data from Search Console. Scroll down and you'll see two new cards here. One of them is the landing page information and the other one is the organic searches that are happening. To see the details of any of these reports, simply click on the link underneath them. Go ahead and click on this link. And here you can see all the landing pages and stats associated with them. All this data is coming from Google Search Console and now it's available within Google Analytics 4 or GA4. You don't have to go to Google Search Console. You can simply log into Google Analytics 4 and see all your data here. You can change the dimension that's showing up in this report from landing pages to country or device category. You also have another report that shows you the keywords. Let's go back to acquisition overview and then I will show you how to get to the keyword data. Click on acquisition overview, scroll down, and this second card here is all about the search queries or the key phrases, keywords, whatever you wanna call it. Clicking on this link here will take you to a report that shows you all the search queries. All the data here is again coming from Google Search Console. So that's how you link Google Search Console and Google Analytics 4. So far for this overview, I went through the acquisition reports. However, you can have a permanent link to these reports in your report navigation menu. That's what I'm going to show you next. In order to set that up, go to library. This is where you'll see a card called Search Console. It has certain reports underneath it. However, this card is unpublished. That means we need to publish it for it to show up in the navigation menu. Click on Edit Collection to see which reports will show up in this menu option. Here you can see it's a Search Console report that has two reports underneath it, Queries and Google Organic Search Traffic. These are the two menu options that will show up under Search Console menu option. Go ahead and click on Save. Go back. Now you're ready to publish this collection. So click on these three dots and click on publish. Now it says published and search console menu option is also showing up on the left navigation bar. Click on search console and you can see there are two menu options underneath it. Queries and Google organic search traffic. These two reports contain your Google search console data. Click on Queries, and here your Queries report is available. Similarly, here you have the landing page information. So that's how you link Google Search Console to Google Analytics 4, as well as create permanent menu links 
in Google Analytics 4 for Google Search Console reports. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and leave a comment with your thoughts on this video. Make sure to check out the description of this video for a link to some resources that'll help you learn Google Analytics 4. I will see you in the next video.